Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the fireworks event which has been updated for 2021 in Animal Crossing New Horizons and there are some really fun new items and additions which you can enjoy here. Now this event is fairly straightforward, you'll basically be enjoying fireworks around your island but it is honestly one of my favourite events in all of Animal Crossing and I really love it. Whether you played last year or this is your first time playing, I definitely think there's a lot to enjoy here and like I mentioned there are some brand new things to enjoy here as well which I think you'll really like so I'm gonna give you all the details that you need to know about the fireworks festival events which happen every Sunday in Animal Crossing New Horizons so let's get straight into this so Isabel will let you know that the fireworks event is happening and she looks absolutely adorable in her little boppers I really love that of course the fireworks festival like I mentioned is very straightforward you'll literally just be watching fireworks happen around your island Isabel and Red will also appear in the plaza with their own prizes for you. Tom Nook sadly doesn't get the day off, which is honestly a little bit tragic. Poor Tom Nook, but I guess we still need him if, you know, we need some island renovations. Isabel doesn't really do that much, so it's fine for her to come outside a little bit. Now, your villagers will also gather here in the plaza, and they'll have a lot of nice things to say to you about the fireworks festival. Sadly, some are stuck in their houses and they don't really want to talk about it, so don't really bother with those guys. But if you see any in the plaza, definitely definitely have a chat with them because they will love to talk to you about the fireworks festival and I, I know a lot of people want to see more dialogue in Animal Crossing New Horizons so the events do thankfully provide a lot that you can enjoy which I really like. Now if you talk to Isabel like last year she will give you a bopper, a random bopper. The event does happen every Sunday so you should have a chance to get all of the different ones if she doesn't give you the one that you want so don't worry too much about that. It's always nice to get a little prize from Isabel though, and I think my character looks very adorable wearing these. I literally can't imagine playing the fireworks festival without the boppers on. It would just feel wrong to me. I don't like the idea of that. So definitely make sure you get your hands on this item. I've managed to get two of them so far, and I've got to say, I like the heart boppers the most. So I'm going to be wearing those throughout the course of this video. Now, of course, Red has returned somehow. I, do I don't know why he has to park up on the secret beach, yet he can just appear in broad daylight or nightlight, I guess, in the plaza, even though he is basically a criminal who sells us fake art. But yes, he is back and he is selling us raffle prizes. And what's exciting is this time around, he has a bunch of brand new raffle prizes. Now, there are three types of new raffle prizes, and I'm going to go over all the new items you can get very soon. But it's just worth noting that when I did this for the very first time, it felt like Red gave me all of the new items first. Now, I'm not sure if this is the case for everyone or I just got insanely lucky, but I'm guessing Nintendo has made it so that when you first interact with the raffle, Red will give you all of the brand new items first. Maybe if you've already unlocked all of the other ones the previous year. You'll definitely have to let me know in the comments section down below if you experienced this too. He also has some really funny messages about the different items you can get, which I'm going to go over. And just in general, it's really nice to be able to get more from the raffle. Honestly, I think this raffle is really underrated. People don't really realize just how many items you can actually get from this. And they're so cute. I love them all. I know a lot of them are just kind of aesthetic things. But I do think things like that help make Animal Crossing feel a little bit more fun, especially if you're playing online with friends. So definitely make sure you get those items and take your revenge on Red if you need to. Now, let's take a look at the new items. First of all, we have Cotton Candy, which I really love. It definitely reminds me of fun fairs when I was a kid, going to those and getting some nice cotton candy or candy floss as it is called here <laughs> you can also get some frozen little popsicles or ice lollies i really like those uh it's funny watching your character kind of consume them in one gulp you'll definitely have to look at that and then one item which i know is going to be insanely popular with everyone is the boba tea or coffee you know there's a bunch of different types of them so yeah people are going to go absolutely crazy for this one and want to know how you can get it and get the different types and of course you can get them through red's raffle so if you want the new boba tea item that is how you get it and you can drink it sadly it's our only form of coffee really in animal crossing new horizons at the moment which does make me very sad because it just makes me miss brewster 
Now, a really fun detail about these food items is they are not just aesthetical like they were in previous games. They actually increase your energy meter, as you can see on screen, which makes them incredibly useful. Now, they are sadly consumed in free drinks or bites, which is a little bit sad. I am a bit disappointed about that, but I guess they made it so, you know, it does give you some energy, which is actually really convenient because you don't have to go into your inventory to eat a thing one at a time. You can literally just press the A button in the overworld and you can get your energy increased. So I definitely recommend using these items to increase your energy if you need them. That is something that is incredibly useful and I can't recommend it enough. And I'm really happy they did that because I knew a lot of people probably wouldn't like the items based on the fact they were just kind of aesthetical like they were in previous games. So the fact that they actually do something useful for you is really great. Now, Red will also mention some funny messages that there are no refunds if you trip and drop your coffee or boba tea. And he'll also mention that there's no refunds for if you trip and drop your ice lolly as well, which is really funny to me. That is hilarious that they added this dialogue in, especially since Red is so shady. Now, if you drop the candy floss or you fall with the candy floss, you can only do this with the King Tut mask, by the way, the candy floss will be completely fine. It'll remain undamaged. But if you trip with a popsicle or ice lolly in your hands, yes, it will melt and be destroyed. And no, you can't get the item back. So you'll definitely want to keep that in mind. I tried this with a few different ones. And as a really fun little detail, you'll notice that when you trip with these items, the color that like, the juice spills into when you fall actually matches the item, which is a really nice little detail that they added. Just makes sense, doesn't it? And yes, again, if you love Boba, definitely don't go running around with your King Tut mask because you will drop it and it will literally spill everywhere all over you. So that's probably not worth doing. But as you can see, the colors when it spills out does match what color it actually is, which is something I really love. It's details like that that I really enjoy. And I'm sure there's other details that I've missed here. It seems like right now, the only way you can actually trip with these items is using the King Tut mask. So you should be fine as long as you don't put that on. Of course, you can also trip using the balloon, which is something they added in last year. So if you're feeling like you want to lose your balloon as well, go ahead and do that. Crazy Red is scamming us once more. Now, if you want to get a custom design to put a firework in the sky, which is something you can do last year and this year as well, I highly recommend going to the custom design portal and actually searching for characters and things that you want. This is just a little tip I want to put out there because I thought to myself, I really want a Bob firework in the sky, but I don't have a good design of it. And I don't really want to like take all the time looking online. I just want to load it straight into my game. So this is a really convenient way to do that. The search features here are really good. And honestly, I feel like underused. I feel like most people don't use this portal. So definitely if you want a really cute firework design in the sky, make sure you go and check out the portal by pressing, I believe the X button when you go to your custom designs or you go to the Able Sisters and it should help you get a bunch of different designs. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of the 2021 fireworks festival in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Do you enjoy the new items and are you going to be playing this event? Will you be playing with friends or are you gonna play alone? Definitely leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more.